So hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl Barista Neze, and this is Nezeville. Today's episode comes with plenty of updates. Yes, when I bring stories to you guys here, I usually tell you that if there are any updates on that story, I'm going to let you know. So we have updates, guys, and we're going to dive right into it immediately. So moving away from IVD, but since we're already talking about crime and its consequences, let us briefly talk about the case of Nigerian senator, politician, Ike Ekwaremadu and his wife, Beatrice. Ike Ekwaremadu is a 61-year-old Nigerian politician, lawyer, and lawmaker. He assumed office as a senator in the year 2003. <laughs> what is that now? 20 years ago. 20 years ago. And he was the deputy senate president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for three consecutive times. In June of 2022, News filled both print and social media that Ike Ekweremadu and his wife Beatrice had been arrested by the London Metropolitan Police for organ harvesting and human trafficking there in the UK. The UK police said that they had received enormous complaints from a young man who claims that this senator and his wife were trying to harvest his organs, his kidney, after bringing him all the way from Lagos, Nigeria to the United Kingdom. Organ harvesting and human trafficking are very, very serious offenses under UK's modern slavery legislation. According to UK laws, organs should never come at a price. They should never be paid for. They should never be bought or sold. They should never be procured at a cost. They must be given only through, only, only, through a voluntary donation. I know there was a question of whether he was a minor, oh, he's not a minor, he gave consent, minor, minor. That is not the crux of the matter. That is not the bone of contention. Whether he's a minor or an adult is inconsequential. The UK law on modern day slavery premises its rationale on the costs, on buying, on exchange for monetary value, not really on age. So the chat sheets which I perused in details, had said that the Equerimados, in connivance with medical doctor, one Obinna or better, had planned paying a young trader from Lagos. <laughs> Not only did they plan it, they brought him over to the UK to give one of his kidneys to their daughter Sonia, whose kidneys were failing. The procedure was to cost a whooping £80,000 in a private arrangement at the Royal Free Hospital in London. They were charged to court and have been in the custody of the UK authorities since June of 2022. And this week, we got wind of the news that finally they have been convicted. They were found guilty of organ trafficking through a London court by Justice Johnson. And they will be sentenced on the 5th of May. So yes, they have been convicted but not sentenced. And I saw in the comment section of so many of these media outlets, so many people were asking how many years imprisonment they've been convicted. No. Conviction is different from sentencing. Conviction is when the court finds you either guilty or not guilty. So it's a pronouncement of guilt, of judgment. While sentencing is when the particular punishment is pronounced. So they've been found guilty, but how many years imprisonment they're going to spend or stay is going to be made known on the 5th of May. But reliable sources claim that the duo have a chance of spending up to 10 years imprisonment. This news had people split in two different opinions. The first set of people feel some kind of sympathy for the Aquarium models. They claim that these are parents trying to do anything possible to keep their daughter alive and that they were set up because this boy had agreed they had negotiated. He had agreed to do this in Nigeria. So how could he be so wicked and ambitious just because he wanted to jack back from the country? He leveraged on them and reported them to the authorities just to seek asylum. These set of people feel very, very sorry for the Aquarium models and wish that they get the minimum sentence available. On the other hand, where a lot more people stay, <laughs> they see it as good radiance to bad rubbish, really. They say that this is a senator, a four-time senator in Nigeria, and look at the medical situation in the country. 
just because they can afford medical care all around the world abroad they neglect their own country siphon public funds just imagine this procedure alone was to cost eighty thousand pounds that's almost 70 million naira just imagine that being plowed into our economy our doctors employment opportunities but no these our politicians african politicians are so wicked so selfish and so self-centered and yes he got what he got coming they say that they wish that every other politician that is looting and embezzling from the national treasure would have the same fate meted to them they felt no sympathy or pity for both the senator his wife and even their daughter let me know which sides of these two divides do you stand on do you believe that african leaders are so wicked and that when they meet their waterloo no pity should be felt for them or do you believe is the human side of you taking the best of you do you believe that such fates do not befit them let me know your thoughts in the comment section so guys we have come to the end of today's interesting episode of the crazy week that was with barista neze today's episode was more of law law and more updates on law if you get to subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and stay glued for the next one it's me your girl barista neze and this is neze Vale. i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye